how can you surrender that strong, independent woman? How can you remember that life is always already naturally ambitious for you? And how can you find ways to educate yourself around wealth? How can you say bye to survival mode and devote yourself to where your aliveness is guiding you in each moment? Welcome to the Seeing in the Dark podcast, the podcast for new ways of leading and doing business. No more separation between money, power and leadership and being a deeply spiritual human being. Seeing in the dark is about walking paths that have not been walked before and truly making a change in a world in which old ways are crumbling. My name is Nicole Nima Costeres, CEO of a multiple six-figure soul-based business and here to take you into the mysteries of purpose, power, intuition and soul-based leadership. May you embody your own unique essence so deeply that your vibration naturally teaches, inspires and assists others. Let's dive in. This week, I take you on a journey into the five gateways into more money and wealth. And I share with you my story about how I grew my business times 42. That's an insane number, right? My first year in business, I made 5,000 euro over the whole year before tax. And it was only like eight years later or so that I needed to make a decision because I became aware of all the resistance I was having towards money and all the beliefs I was holding towards it that were limiting for me to receive more of it. Yeah. So in this week's episode, I will share with you about my journey with money, about my journey with growing my business, but most of all, the five gateways or the five keys or the five decisions that helped me the most to making myself available for more money. I was that person that would literally feel disgusted if I would think about loving money, right? So I think one of the beautiful things about this story is that it doesn't matter where you are in your relationship with money, you can expand into welcoming more of it because money provides possibilities. Money can support us in our growth. Money can support us in, in the expression of our mission, right? So welcoming this source of possibilities has been life-changing for me. So the reason also why I'm doing this week's episode around money is because I am part of an incredible project called the Wealthy Woman Vault. It's a collaboration with 44 women in wealth, women that make around six, multiple six, seven, and multiple seven figures with their business. And they're sharing their wisdom through masterclasses, full courses, PDFs, teachings, and really like in an accessible language. There is, for example, trainings around crypto. There's trainings around saving money, education around investing your money. And there is also like a more spiritual approach on manifestation teachings, astrology, human design, Aquarian business models, sex magic, and so on. It's a portal that has a value of over $20,000. And you know, you have sometimes these events and where they say it has this massive amount of value and you go in and you're like, um, I don't really agree. That is not the case with the vault. I am in the vault. I'm part of this creation, but I'm also in there because I want to learn about investing, for example. I went into the vault and I can see its actual courses that these women normally sell that are in there. There's master classes that they normally have as a part of their business, right? So it is an incredibly rich and wide range of education around money. And where do we receive an education like this, right? It's like we kind of have to figure it out by ourselves, how money works, how wealth works, like... We don't learn this in school, unfortunately. So this is like a money school with all types of topics from self-love to crypto and everything in between. And it's accessible for only $111. 
with a value of over $20,000, right? Like I have one money program. It's 197 euro, but you get a three hour training for that. So for $111, you get a full money school, which you will have like for most of the content, at least a year for some of the content lifetime access. And you can just take your time over the year, follow your inspiration and go through this money education. I wish you a beautiful time in today's episode. The link to the Money Vault is below until Tuesday, the 9th of May, 6 p.m. Central European Summertime, if I'm correct. The price will be $111 and then the price will double, which is still an amazing deal for the amount of value that is inside this vault. I know some of the women that are in there and I have deep respect for them. This is not your random lineup. It's a lineup with an incredible, valuable amount of teachers that have years and years of experience in what they bring. So enjoy this week's episode. Enjoy the vault if you decide to join. And let me know also. You can let me know when you join and let me know what's your favorite training in there. Much love. I can't wait to dive in and talk with you about five gateways into more money and wealth. And I would love to share my story about growing my business times 42. (laughs) I was aware of this these days because I am part of an amazing project with 44 women in wealth sharing their wisdom through courses, masterclasses, trainings, PDFs. It's an amazing, amazing project in which in two days time or something, over 3000 women already joined. Uh, This is called the Wealthy Woman Vault. And you can join this Wealthy Woman Vault and it has over $20,000 in value in courses. You can find the link in my bio. What touches me so deeply about this project, and it's also the inspiration for me doing this live here tonight, because as I was sharing my story there about growing my business times 42, I remembered the place I came from in connection to money. But my money story started with me not knowing much about money at all. Like I didn't know anything about saving. I didn't know anything about investing. I didn't know anything about how to even ask and charge for my offers. (laughs) So I remember all the way at the beginning of my journey with my mission, I found my safety in my daytime job as a social worker. I was a social worker working with children with intense struggles with their behavior, small kids around the age of five. And I was making around one and a half thousand euro a month. And for me at that time, that was a a good salary. Like I was doing some massages uh, next to my work as a social worker, and I would make always enough to do everything I wanted to do. I was traveling, I was investing in the trainings that I wanted to join, but it was always just enough. And maybe you can relate with that, that there is money flowing, but it's always just enough to get by, or maybe not like barely enough to get by. And so for me, my money journey started at, I don't know if I would call it zero, but I for sure didn't know a lot about it. How is that for you? Let me know, like, where did your money journey start? Like, how was your reality with money? Because for me, it was one of the most scary things to go into my own mission and step into my own business, show up with with the things that I believe in because of that money piece. Because money is so connected to survival, right? Money is so connected to safety. And also money receives like maybe one of the most projections that we can bring on to something is on money, right? So looking back, I was carrying so many negative beliefs and stories around money. I would say one of the biggest ones was that I was making a separation between being a deeply spiritual human being and making money. 
for me, really being deeply spiritual, like very devoted to my path, to my journey, to my deepening, I was spending a lot of time in circles that would not be okay with making lots of money. There would be judgment on money, rejection towards the money system. Like it would basically be expected that you work on donation based, you know, or something like that. So when I started to open myself for the possibility of making more money, I had to face these beliefs that I was having around people that make a lot of money, around being spiritual and making money. And I had to make a decision. And the decision I made in that moment, which was around 2020, it's not so long ago, because my first year in business was in 2012. My first year in business, I made 5,000 euro over the whole year before tax, 5,000 euro over the whole year before tax. And it was my first year after I gathered enough courage to uh, leave my job as a social worker. And I made 5,000 euro. And if somebody at that time would have told me that eight years later, I would have a growth of 42 times, I would literally laugh in your face. Because in the times where I was making one and a half thousand a month, like two or 3,000 euro or 5,000 euro a month was already out of this world for me. Like I could literally not connect with my awareness to making 5,000 euro a month. And I'm sharing this to also let you know that no matter where you are in your relationship and your journey with money, you can expand so much from where you are right now. You can expand beyond your wildest dreams. And this is one of the things I can see in the Wealthy Woman Vault It's such a rich space of education around money and wealth. And there is like more like spiritual teachings, like connecting to the soul of your business, working with human design, working with meditation, working with astrology. But there's also these amazing teachers that are teaching about how to save your money, how to charge your offers how to even invest your money because like I didn't even know anything about that and also didn't understand the language around it right so one of the things I can see in the vault and I'm super excited to join some of these courses myself as well is that they teach all these things around investing saving crypto so many teachings around money in just a down-to-earth, simple-to-digest language, right? So in a moment, I want to share with you those five gateways that helped me so much into growing more into money and wealth. But I first want to see your uh, responses. I see Jonah says, I came from deep transgenerational scarcity, Yes, this is something that is part of our money story, right? Like, how did we grow up? How did our parents connect with money? Like, what was the transmission and the message that they gave us around money? For example, one really interesting blend that is in my family is that on the father's side of the family, overall, they have abundant amounts of money, yet they feel like they don't have enough. So it creates this weird contraction of like feeling like you need to find safety in an amount of money when it's actually not really needed, right? And so taking a moment to tune into what is your family story with money? What is your story with money? What is it that you believe about your ability to make money, right? So... In those years of growing my business times 42, there were a few things that I could see were some of the biggest openings that I made into welcoming more money. And also, I can see that as I'm teaching this work in my mastermind, in my courses, I can see these are also the five things that help the women the most when it comes to welcoming more money. So number one, first gateway, is to become aware of your money story and the beliefs that you hold towards it. 
Yeah. Like I said, I had to make that decision that I no longer make a separation between being a spiritual human being and welcoming lots of money, power and leadership. Because those are the three things that I feel we have so many bad examples around in this world, right? Money, power and leadership. Those were three things that would literally have me feel like, ugh. (laughs) a few years ago and I remember the first time when I would offer my six-figure business model masterclass I felt life really wanted to offer this masterclass through me and I felt like I was almost vomiting for an hour when I was about to open registration for it I really had to let go of all these layers within myself that had a judgment around money that had some like resistance towards money because how can life meet us with the amounts of money that it wants to meet us if we are having so much judgment and rejection towards it right so maybe you want to share in the chat like what are some of the beliefs that you see you are holding towards money what is your money story and what belief can you see is limiting limiting you from welcoming more of that money. I remember when I was offering the summit in 2021, there was one woman and she wrote me and she says, I really want to welcome more money, but I feel that there is so much poverty in the world that I really cannot. I cannot welcome more wealth because there is already so much poverty in the world. And I asked her, I said, Do you believe that you can be of support for all those people in poverty by rejecting money yourself? Because I don't believe that that's true. I believe that we can be more of support for this world when we dare to embrace uh, larger amounts of money. I can see how much more my mission can come to fruition when more money starts to flow to the soul of my work. Right. I can see how I can support amazing projects and people that I believe in by having more money left over that I can actually support others with. Right. So it isn't money's fault that we have these problems in the world. It's the people that wield the money and the power that determine what happens to it. Right. So I had this one teacher and he said, Money amplifies who you already are at your core. Money amplifies who you already are at your core. So that means if you're already like greedy, if you're already like, you know, self-centered, if you're already like wanting it all for yourself, then the more money you will have, that quality will actually amplify within yourself. But when you are someone that lives a heart-centered and soul-based life, when you are someone that wants to create a beautiful world, then the more money comes your way, those qualities will amplify. And that's something I had to realize for myself because as I started to create, as I started to welcome larger amounts of money in my life, it came together with a fear of, Am I able to wield this clean? Am I able to be authentic with my power? Or will I also become destructive and toxic like all these leaders that we can see as bad examples in the world, right? So I personally believe that more wealth and money should be in the hands of heart-centered and soul-based leaders. Because I believe that more money in the hands of heart-centered and soul-based leaders will change this world. Yes. Okay. A family money story that money making business is the source of crippling stress. Yes. That's a big one, right? In order to make more money, I have to work hard. And that is actually the second gateway. The second gateway is making a decision to say goodbye to survival mode. Because being in survival mode is a choice right? I'm not talking maybe about really, really poor countries that have like absolutely no resources. But for most of us, being in survival mode is a choice. And the reason I found out is because 
When I didn't have a lot of money, I would experience this survival mode within myself. I would experience this stress and this feeling of the need to make a living. Yeah. I would feel this adrenaline rush through my body that I needed to work harder. And as I started to make more money, I noticed that that pattern inside of me was still there. It was still there. And as I started to hit my first six figure year, I could still see these patterns that were running on adrenaline and thinking that they need to work hard in order to make a living. I was still running on that survival mode, right? So I can see around me friends that make six figures, multiple six figures and up that still run on survival mode. So that tells me that survival mode doesn't necessarily come with the amount of money that we're making. Survival mode is a collective automated go-to that is ridiculous, right? And again, I'm not talking about people that are in a situation that is really, 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 really bad. I'm talking about making a choice to no longer let your life be run by stress and adrenaline. To not let your life be determined by what you think you should be doing in order to make a living, but to dare to make that choice to trust and follow the inspiration that comes to you in each moment. And whether that is working in a nine to five job or whether that is living your mission in your own business, to make more space for your inspiration and for how life wants to move you in each moment. Because my experience is the more we dare to follow our resonance, the more you dare to follow your bliss, the more bliss there is to follow. And the more bliss there is to follow, the more wealth we naturally attract. And with when I'm going to speak about wealth, I'm not only talking about the amount of money that we make, right? Because your happiness, you're not going to find it in money. And this is a question that I love to ask, like what does true wealth or true success mean to you? Because I discovered very quickly that it's not in the amount of money that I'm making. Sure, when you make more money, it makes things and possibilities easier. But happiness is not in the money, not in the amount of money. It's also not in the amount of things that we acquire, right? Wealth for me is being deeply connected to the soul of life and being deeply embodying my own essence. Because I notice that the more I embody my essence, the more I feel a sense of fulfillment. The more I dare to commune with the soul of life and let myself be moved by the deeper intelligence of life, the more wealth, including money, naturally comes my way. And this is also something that I will talk deeply about in the Wealthy Woman Vault. You can find the link in my bio. It's an incredible project initiated by Katya Nova. And I met Katya in India in 2016. And we were in India on the roof of a yoga ashram. And we spontaneously co-hosted a full moon circle for over 50 people. And since then, we've stayed in touch and she created this amazing platform, Matriarch Village, where she offers the most amazing collaborations with facilitators, coaches, entrepreneurs, women that are here to make a change. And one of her big passions is to move money through the hands of women. That's her big passion. And from that big passion, she initiated this wealthy woman vault. And there's already over 3,000 women signed up for this project. And as I go through the vault, one of the things that I really love is that there is these down-to-earth teachings in it as well. It's not a spiritual, airy-fairy, fluffy, like, money education. Sure, there is meditations in there. There is really beautiful, spiritual, emotional work in there as well. But there is also this really practical, step-by-step guidance and education around wealth. And the third gateway for me into more money and wealth has been education around wealth, right? Because where do we learn this? There's not really a place where we learn 
where we are educated around money and wealth. And this is why I feel it's such an amazing deal, this Wealthy Woman Vault, because for such a small amount of money, we get an amazing, diverse, and very complete education on what it actually means to make more money, what it actually means to create wealth for yourself and your family and your community. I see some beautiful response in the chat. It's so important to learn to regulate our nervous system around this. Yes, that is so true. Because money is so tied in with safety and feeling safe that my journey has been step by step, step by step, regulating my nervous system and feeling more safe with life feeling more safe to follow my intuition in each moment and know that life has got my back. Know that life has got my back and knowing that life has got your back, knowing and remembering that it's safe to follow your inspiration and dare to go with it. Yes. Luxury of choice is to embody your freedom, your highest expression, your highest purpose, especially as women. Yes, one of my teachers, she shared a research, and this is why I love this project, because it moves money through the hands of women, and not just women, it's move money through the hands of heart-centered and soul-based women. And the reason why I'm even more excited about this money moving through the hands of women is that one of my teachers shared this research, and she said, when women acquire wealth, they tend to share it with their communities like so much more than men do. I'm not saying that it's not okay for men to have like uh, money and wealth moving through their hands, but there is something specific that happened according to this research when women acquire wealth and they tend to share it with their communities. But not only that, they tend to empower their communities to create wealth for themselves as well so that we can all rise together. And that's the quality that I feel inside this project. It has this feeling of let's all rise together, right? So if you aren't in the vault yet, I highly recommend to go and check it out. The link is in my bio. And, and join because it's such a rich education on money and wealth. So this is the third gateway, educating yourself. My education has been with some of these women that are actually in the vault, like some of my teachers are in there. It's not just like a random selection of women. There are so many women in there that I have deep respect for that have an incredible body of work and years and years of experience in the teachings that they're offering in there. And it's also not just like your everyday summit or something, right? There is not like only interviews, it's full courses. I've seen courses valued up to $1,000 that are in the vault, right? So I got a few messages today and they were going through my meditation that is inside the vault. And they said, even this one meditation is worth the money that I put in for this vault. So check out the link in my bio and you really don't want to miss this opportunity. Okay, let's rewind quickly because the first gateway into more money was becoming aware of your money story and taking a moment to reflect what is it actually that I am believing about money and my ability to welcome more of it? And what decisions do I need to make? Which for me was no longer make that separation between being spiritual and making lots of money and wielding power. The second one was deciding to say bye, goodbye to survival mode. Yeah, no more survival mode. Meaning every time when you notice you start to run on adrenaline, on stress, on survival mode. You stop. You stop whatever it is that you're doing. And you take a moment to unwind, to relax your body and feel what is it that your inspiration is guiding you into. Where is your inspiration guiding you into? Because it was only through me daring to follow my inspiration that I am where I am today right? If I would have stayed stuck in like needing to hold on to a job that wasn't fully aligned, I wouldn't be here today. And did I have moments where I didn't have money? Yes. 
Did I have moments where I was invited to say yes to my mission and even say yes, even if the money is not there yet? Did I have to say yes, even when I saw my savings shrink over and over and over again? Yes. Were there times where I was scared because I wasn't sure if life got my back? Yes. And still, every time I decided to say yes, every time I decided to keep going and trust that voice of my intuition, trust how life wanted to move me in each moment. Yeah. And the third one was educate yourself about money. Because unfortunately, we do not receive this education when we go to school. We do not receive this education for many of us in the way we grow up, right? So we have to find these places of education around uh, money and wealth. And the Wealthy Woman Vault is such an amazing opportunity because where can you do a complete study from manifesting meditations to astrology, through human design, through learning how to save money, through investing, learning about crypto, learning about everything. It's such a wide range. Where can you find that for such a low amount of money? A full study. It's literally insane. So far, all these gates that I've been sharing with you helped me to grow my business time 42 Because the moment I decided to not make that separation anymore between being spiritual and making lots of money, the moment I became aware of my relationship with money and the stories that I was having, the moment I said goodbye to a survival mode and chose to devote myself to my resonance and my intuition, my business grew times 42. That's literally insane. Because that first year after that decision... I made over 200,000 euro and I still like there's still moments where I cannot fully grasp (laughs) how that even happened. So two more gates that I want to share with you. The fourth one is to dare to embrace money, dare to love money, because now I can say this in a relaxed way. But the first period where I started to embrace money where I started to say, I love money, I literally felt disgusted. I felt disgusted with myself. I really, I came from far with that, you know? I really had a long journey to be okay with me loving money, with me being okay with embracing money fully, with me also allowing myself to be supported by it. Yeah, so embracing money and deepening my relationship or my friendship with it. Because when I would have a look at my relationship with money, there would be so much neediness in it. There would be so much like pushing and pulling and weirdness that for me, it wasn't so surprising that money was a bit awkward with me because I was being super awkward with money. Yeah, I see a question coming in. Could you give some tips on how to educate yourself on money? Yes. Number one tip is this wealthy woman vault. Because I can give some tips also here in this live call. But there are some topics on money and wealth that I am not really skilled at, right? So, for example, like I said, there is teachers that will teach you on how to simple systems save large amounts of money and this is only new for me so it's only for the last two years that I'm educating myself around saving money and it's only very recently that I start to explore ways on investing money things like that so this is why I said that the wealthy woman vault is such a wide range and different ways of educating yourself around money but from my own like a range of knowledge, some tips. One thing that really helped me was to become aware on what your relationship with money looks like. And like you might know Sophie Josefina, she was in my summit two years ago. She had this really beautiful talk about meeting money as your lover and discovering and feeling what your relationship is with this lover or this friend. So that would be one way of educating yourself within yourself, within this relationship, yeah? 
But then I've also done trainings where they teach you on how to manage your money because it's one thing to uh, welcome in larger amounts of money and make larger amounts of money, but it's a whole other thing to then manage all that money, right? So it's about learning how to create different saving accounts and make different jars for your money, even when not so much is coming in yet to start making space for money. It's about educating yourself around the laws of manifestation. And not only that, it's also about deepening your ability to receive. That's actually the fifth gateway that I wanted to share with you today. It's about deepening your ability to receive and making space within. Yeah. It's about how does your, I don't know, your astrology sign influence the way you relate with money? How does your human design influence the way you relate with money? How can you make sure that you can invest in such a way that at some point in your life, you don't even have to work anymore? You can just live off of your investments. Like those things I cannot really teach about. You really have to be in the vault for that. (laughs) There's also some books that you can actually find in my stories. I think there is still a book list there if you want to find some books on it as well. I always love the analogy of money as a romantic and sexy relationship union partner boyfriend, whichever resonates. Yes, it's super helpful, isn't it? I also really love that because it makes it instantly clear what we are sending out to this friend, right? Amazing. You just signed up for the vault. Amazing. Let me know. Let me know how it is for you. And let me know also which trainings you love the most. Like I've seen like some of the women that I've been following for a while in the vault and I cannot wait to go through some of these trainings because there are some things that I want to learn more about, right? And this is also why I think it's such an amazing project because I am offering something in there, but I'm also receiving so much from all the teachers in there. And there is another amazing layer to this project is the moment you sign up for the Wealthy Woman Vault, you receive your unique affiliate link as well. So that means then it's your turn if you want to share about the Wealthy Woman Vault and you will receive 50% of each sale that you are making. So that means you can make back the money and make money by joining this Wealthy Woman Vault. Like that is so beautiful. So the vault, basically everything that you need to become magnetic to money. That's it a wide range of education on wealth and money. One more thing I wanted to share. Deepening my ability to receive money has been also key to growing my business times 42. And the reason for that is I noticed that when I received, I wasn't really receiving. I could notice it when people would give me a compliment. I would say, thank you but not really allow it in. And that was a moment where I discovered that there is three levels of receiving. First level of receiving is when someone says, hey, you look so beautiful. And you say, thank you, but you don't really allow it in. First level of receiving. Second level of receiving is someone gives you a compliment. You say, thank you, and you allow it in. You really allow that compliment into your body. Third level of receiving is someone gives you a compliment, you allow it into your body, and you acknowledge that quality within yourself as well. Third level of receiving. Let me know in the chat which level of receiving do you find yourself in most of the time? Because for me, it was that first level of receiving. I wasn't really receiving. And I was also really struggling with being a strong, independent woman. Like, I'm still recovering from that. Like, I was a strong, independent woman. I thought I could do it all by myself. I was strong, but also armored, right? And when we are strong and armored, life cannot really meet us. Life cannot really enter into us, literally, because we're warriors, right? So... I had to learn to soften my body. I had to learn to make myself available for being receptive, for being open, for truly allowing in. 
And it was through me opening myself to receiving deeper that my strong, independent woman could surrender more fully. Because when I started to open myself to receive life more fully, I started to open myself to receive love more fully, to receive support more fully, to receive money more fully, right? So for me, and what I believe also is that making more money has to do with making more space within yourself, making space in the beliefs that you're holding, so mentally, making space in your energy, in your body, making space in your life and how you are living your life. So where can you deepen your ability to receive more, to receive more love, to receive more of life, to receive more support, to receive more money? Because it's literally then that life can hold us. How can life hold us when we are strong, independent women that are walking around armored and we got it all under control? How can we then be surrendered into a deeper holding where life has got our back, where we remember that we don't have to be the one pulling the strings because we are not anyway. There is something deeper that is in charge. And like I also like to say it in a way that the universe is naturally ambitious for you. Right. So you don't have to be the one trying to push yourself into more wealth, trying to force yourself into making more money. No, it's a process of making more space within yourself, making yourself more receptive, more available, more open to receive. And then naturally life can meet you. Yes. Yes, totally. It's a dichotomy for me of strong, independent woman and codependency. Yeah. So how can you surrender that strong, independent woman? How can you remember that life is always already naturally ambitious for you? And how can you find ways to educate yourself around wealth? How can you say bye to survival mode and devote yourself to where your aliveness is guiding you in each moment. Yes. I really want to thank you all. Thank you for being here. Join the vault. Like, I would love to see you in there. I would love to see you share it if you feel inspired too, because it becomes a massive ripple. They expect 35,000 women to join this vault, which is a self-study vault. So you can go through it on your own pace. You have access for at least a year and some courses, lifetime access. So you can just go through it at your own pace and follow inside the vault your resonance to which course, which teachers feel the most inspiring to you, right? It doesn't mean that now you need to educate yourself on everything. So to come back to your question again, Sophia, like where to start with educating yourself on wealth by following where your inspiration and your curiosity is guiding you in this moment. So if in this moment, it's first to a course that is about loving yourself more, then you go there first. If your inspiration guides you to learning more about crypto, then you go there first. If your heart calls you into one of the trainings on around astrology or human design or connecting to the soul of your business, then you go there first. Because your intuition is guided by the deeper intelligence of life, right? And the deeper intelligence of life knows exactly what the right order of studying is for you. Nice. All right, ladies, so 36 or 40 hours left, something like that. Um, but let me know when you join. Let me know, and I would love to see you there. I wish you a beautiful evening, and um, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy the richness in the vault. Send you much love. Mwah. Bye. Did you receive any inspiration, motivation, or powerful breakthroughs by listening to this episode? Then please share this episode by taking a screenshot and tagging me in your stories at nicole.nima.costeres. I would love to celebrate you, share you in my stories, and it would mean so much to have my work reach more powerful, passionate women like you. Thank you so much and looking forward to see you next week.